Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Canada. Tyler, the creator tour title. The search for the enigmatic creator once upon a time. In the vibrant city of Toronto, Canada, there was an unprecedented buzz among the younger generation. Rumors were circulating that Tyler, the creator, an influential American rapper and music producer known for his innovative style and provocative lyrics, was planning a tour across Canada. Tyler's music had struck a chord with Canadian youth. His bold creativity inspired them to express themselves freely and without fear of judgment. However, Tyler's previous controversial lyrics have led to him being banned from several countries around the world, including Australia and New Zealand. The question on everyone's lips was, would Canada allow Tyler to perform? If so, when would he be coming? Where would he perform? The search began with countless fans scouring online platforms for information about his upcoming tour dates. Social media was abuzz with speculation while ticket sites were inundated with searches for Tyler, the creator tour. As weeks turned into months, without any official confirmation or denial from either Tyler or Canadian authorities about this much-anticipated tour, speculation only grew stronger. Meanwhile, in Vancouver at Simon Fraser University's radio station, CJSF 90.1 FM, Chloe Kimura, a 21-year-old journalism student, took it upon herself to find out more about this mystery surrounding Tyler's tour. She decided to use her journalistic skills, not just out of personal curiosity, but also as part of her final year project that aimed at exploring freedom of expression versus cultural sensitivity in today's society through this case study. Chloe began by reaching out directly to representatives from both sides. Tyler's management team, as well as government officials responsible for issuing performance permits in Canada. Her queries were met with diplomatic answers that revealed little, but she remained undeterred. Simultaneously, she started tracking social media accounts related to Tyler, hoping they might leak some insider information on their posts or stories. Even analyzing his song lyrics, looking for potential clues. Meanwhile, Chloe's story began to gain traction as she shared her updates on CJSF's weekly news bulletin. Her dedicated search resonated with other fans, and they began contributing information, making her investigation a community effort. One day, Chloe received an anonymous tip-off that Tyler had been spotted at a recording studio in Montreal. She immediately flew there and was able to confirm from reliable sources that Tyler was indeed in the city, but remained elusive about his intentions. Just when all seemed lost, Chloe received an email from an unknown source. The email contained a cryptic message. The creator will paint the maple leaf golden. Chloe quickly, 